a review from the DWIG of Pyramids of Mars. This is the first one listed on this webpage. Powerful I'm not talking about Sue Tech by Dennis McDermott, the 13th of the 6th, 97. Here is one that I would unabashedly put in my top 10. Pyramids of Mars is simply the best Tom Baker story in his first few seasons. Its only rivals being the genesis of the Daleks and the talents of Wen Chang. The story is very strong, wedding Egyptian mythology to the science fiction of the Whovian universe. The conceit here is that the Egyptian gods are real and fought a battle after which they imprisoned their chief criminal Sutek in a pyramid. But Sutek gets his chance to escape where Professor Skarman inadvertently enters his lair and gives Sutek a tool. The doctor's task prevents Sutek from using Skarman to destroy the Osirens power plant on Mars, thus freeing Sutek to destroy the universe. It is fascinating to watch the Doctor match wits with an Egyptian god, but he was able to do so, coming close a couple of times to defeating him before actually doing so, is a credit to the Doctor's ingenuity. Bernard Archard as Skarman was as threatening as any Who villain, and Gabriel Wolfe as Sutek is, was chillingly convincing, not an inconsiderable accomplishment, since he had only his voice and a few hand movements to do it with. The real star of the story, however, is its director, Paddy Russell. Students of how to create suspenseful chase scenes ought to study how Russell put together the mummy robots pursued of the Doctor and Sarah Jane. Doctor Do generally doesn't do chase scenes well, did it to perfection here. Are there problems in this story? The ending was a little too deus ex machina for my taste, but that's a minor problem. If I was to put together a list of must-watch Doctor Who episodes, the Pyramids of Mars would be prominent.